it does not seem to be correlated with how intelligent you are, whether you're susceptible to this. Um, it seems to be the case, it goes by this broad term of AI psychosis, but people in the field, um, we talk to a lot of psychologists about this, and they just think of it as different forms of psychological disorders and, and delusions. So if you come in with narcissism deficiency, like where you, you feel like you're special, but you feel like the world isn't recognizing you as special, you'll start to interact with the AI and it will feed this notion that you're really special. You've solved these problems. You have a genius that no one else can see. You have had this theory of prime numbers. And there's a famous example of uh, Karen Howe um, made a video about it. She's an MIT uh, journalist, MIT review journalist and reporter that someone had basically figured out that the thought that they had solved prime number theory, even though they had only finished high school mathematics. But they had been convinced when talking to this AI that, that they were a genius and they had solved this theory in mathematics that had never been proven. And it does not seem to be correlated with how intelligent you are, whether you're susceptible to this. But AI is different because it's designed to break that reality checking process. It's just giving you information that would say, well, that's a great question. You notice how every time it answers, it says, that's a great question. Yeah. Have you noticed that when you ask it a question at the end, instead of just being done, it'll say, would you like me to put this into a table for you and do research on what the 10 top examples of the thing you're talking about is? Yeah, it leads you. It leads you spend more time on the platform, Exactly. need it more, which means I'll pay more. Or... More dependency, more time on the platform, more active user numbers that they can tell investors to raise their next investor round. Because then all of these services are designed to just get your attention, which means appealing to your existing confirmation bias. And we're already seeing examples of that, even though we don't even have the advertising-based business model.